Hey, 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 this is Uncle Mark and the Mothership with a three-string cigar box guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dazed and confused. Um, killer, killer uh, Led Zeppelin tune off their first album. Um, I, I love this tune. It's got a lot of history. Um, uh, Jimmy Page was doing this during the Yards Bir Yardbirds period. Um, just, just a great tune. So you can dig deep and, and find lots of parts that you really like. But um, let's just dig in and, and uh, get this thing, and then I'll show you what I'm doing here. <laughs> So that's the that's the main riff of this tune. Um, so uh, let's go through what we got. G D G 42 34 24. The gauges they're wound and they're electric strings. Um, this song is in the key of E. So where do we find E? So this is an open G chord. G sharp A B flat B C C sharp D D sharp E F F sharp G G sharp A B flat B again. Um, the upper register here is absolutely the same as this. It just starts here. So G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, right? Um, C, yeah, how it goes, right? So um, this song basically, it's in the key of E, so you're here, or this E. Um, this E is made by putting your first finger on the D string on the second fret, putting your third finger here on the uh, B note of the G string, and same here. Okay? So, um, the song basically starts on this, this G right here at the 12th fret and goes... Okay? But what I want you to do is bend, but I want you to bend it down. So, like that. Instead of going, I want you to pull and pull this way. Right? Because you want to have that back, that reverse of the bend. That kind of cry, that backwards cry. That. So I want you to practice that. So first off, map out where you're going to go. I believe in mapping um, where you're going to go with your bends before you bend them. So you want to be here. So practice getting from that note to that note. Because that's the way this song works. And you're going to do the same with this note. Okay? So instead of, you're going to go, okay? So this note too, you want to get to that one. So what I do is I envision this as come up to that point just below those two dots and then in the next move at this dot. So I, I just look down and I go, oh, right there. And then I look down and go right there. And I do the same with the next set of notes. I go in between the dots and in between the dots. So that, that's basically what it is. So just remember, you're coming up to this 11th fret, you know, but you want to, right, you want to come up. And if you notice, I'm exaggerating the way my elbow works, but I want you to get the idea that it's a, it's like a hinge move, right? Hinge, hinge, 
hinge, hinge, okay? Hinge, hinge. This is a very cool little lick and it's a very cool little trick. Um, so I want you to work on it really slow. I'll pull. And I come down between the dots. So right here, okay? So we know that's the sixth fret, one, two, three, four, five, six, but I just look between the dots, okay? Between the C and the D. I don't worry about if it's a C sharp or if it's the sixth fret. I just look at the dots. Between the dots again. Okay, that's how I look for that. Um, in the beginning of this tune, it has some harmonics. Harmonics in E. So, I don't know if you're familiar with harmonics in G, but what you're doing is, is you're putting your fingers right at the edge, and you're going to let go. You're just touching them barely, and you're coming down with your pick, like so. There's two more here on the seventh. There's two more here on the fifth. Okay? So, if you haven't practiced this, it's a great, it's a great thing to do. And what you're doing is, is I'm just picking, right? But you're touching the, the fret barely, right here on the fret. So it works here on 12, it works here on seven, and it works here on five. So, so you should be able to reach those pretty easy. So practice them, there's two up here right at where I have the pickup. It's nice to practice getting those because it looks kind of cool when you're playing, you're done blah, 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 and you bingo, yeah. Um, but what I want to do with this is play, a lot, or play around with a different way to pick harmonics. So you take your pick like you have it here, okay? So you got your pick in your hand. I want you to switch it to these two fingers because you're gonna use this first one to create these harmonics, okay? You're gonna put your fingers right on those two notes. That's a B and that's an E. And of course, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ninth fret. And you're gonna come down here, okay? To the corresponding fret. So you're gonna start at 12 as one and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You end up here. This is how you create harmonics in areas that the guitar normally doesn't have any. So. Okay, and you can do this anywhere on your guitar. Um, by the way, I saw uh, Danny Gatton do this. And he is an amazing guitar player, but I saw him do this. And uh, so that's how you create that, okay? So that's in E. If you wanted it to be in D, you would just move down. Okay, if you wanted it to be in C, if you wanted it to be in B flat, G. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. I'm putting my finger I'll show you up close. I'm putting my finger on the fret and picking. Okay, so it's a little trick. That's it's really a cool trick. So you can be doing this. and get that E harmonic that is critical in this song, okay? So there's a couple other things Paige is doing. Um, one of them is these volume swells, where he's taking the uh, volume, right, and he's doing a... Now, if you watch what my pinky's doing, I'm down, hit the note, and then pull up. Okay, really difficult to do. What I like to do is hang out in this space and in this space. 
So I'm E to D, and then G to E. So you're here on your uh, second, third, fourth, and fifth fret, and you're just going string to string. Then you're here, D to B, and then you're E to D and G. So you can play it just like that, and you can fool around with it, or you can start playing with these swells and start doing these. Uh, You can start playing with the swells. Um, the other stuff he does is with the bow, and we're just not going to get into that. There's also a heavy jam, um, really, really long, two and a half minute jam, and we're not going to get into that either. But coming out of that solo, there is a E D A thing where he goes. <laughs> Okay, so that's coming right out of the solo, and it's about the four minute and six mark thing. So it's an E chord. So second fret on the D string there. That's an E, B, and a B. Then I want you to come down to this D chord, which is second fret on the G string. That's an A note and an A note here, same thing. And then you're gonna rock down to get the A chord. Then you go to E again, and then G, open. Okay, so that's kind of how that works, that little section. And uh, then it goes right back into the B, so it does a... Uh, does that twice or three times in this song and it's just a B okay and you're just E to F sharp A to B so your hammer on so you're down So those are all the parts that you can do on the cigar box guitar, the little riffs that are in this tune. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. Um, down below is a PayPal link. Um, it's a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. It's in the show notes, so you got to can click right on there. And uh, thank you so much. A buck a show is all we ask here, and uh, it helps keep the light on, helps uh, keep the heat in, all of those things that we need. Um, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. There's a button down here, down there. And uh, please subscribe. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. We're on Facebook at Cigar BX Blue. We're also on Instagram. So uh, check us out there. We always are putting out little videos. And uh, thank you so much. Uh, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you. Tons. Thanks tons. We'll see you next time.